what an amazing, amazing experience out here it is tonight. Uh, absolutely wonderful. The sun, as you might just have seen, has literally over over the far corner of Pearl Harbor there. Um, we're on Studland Beach on this side, four glorious miles of beach. Um, and it's it's wonderful, honestly. It's absolutely amazing. And made so much better because of the uh, Celtic heart that Stephanie has just been playing for us for the last half an hour. What a wonderful and really, really relaxing experience it is to come out here, basically into the middle of nowhere, tonight. Oh, uh, we're going to move this way. We think we have a bit of a... And we have to remember that the camera is over there as well. So we're going to move over a bit and have a cut. This is not a... We've had comments. Unfortunately, uh, we have no signal out here on my phone. So I can't actually pick up the comments that people have been uh, putting in. But if you have been putting in comments, thank you so much. Um, and like I said to Stephanie, I wonder if I've got some sound back now. Uh, let's keep walking this way. Unfortunately, we've... Oh, fantastic. So we seem to be back on air. So Stephanie, oh, we were just saying how wonderful and how um, how uh, windy it was. Um, but it is so beautiful, isn't it? I mean, look at the sun going down over there. Wow. Um, absolutely uh, amazing. So is this the windiest place you've ever played then? Um, no, I think the windiest place was actually a wedding in Boscombe where the wind actually whistled off and it was like between two buildings and the wind came hurling up off the um, off the beach <laughs> to where I was playing the harp. I think that was the windiest. But there's something like there's something really exciting about um, being out in this weather when it's windy and you know, like it, it's just really funny because you think, why am I up here? I remember going up like Hambledon Hill, and like it was like it was almost gale force winds and it was rain and it was like the most exciting experience ever. <laughs> <laughs> there is something really exciting about the elements uh, right out here. And that's, um, I know that um, our, our producer said that um, we were taking a risk tonight by doing this because it was either going to be spectacular and stunning. Um, oh, and we're just getting some of the, um, some of the comments through as well. Um, we, it, the, our producer said basically it was either going to be really, really stunning or a complete failure. <laughs> but actually, um, I, that risk paid off. And that's what you got to do. Um, get out there and just uh, wing it sometimes and, and enjoy the elements. Now, um, I can see that uh, Julie Julian Ashley uh, um, has said, um, oh, I've just lost that comment. Julian Ashley says, beautiful music in a fantastic setting. I mean, yeah, I think that's a, a fair assessment of uh, what we just heard. Stephanie, um, have you ever played outside like this um, before? I have because my aim uh, about six, seven years ago was to walk the entire Dorset coast path with a harp. Um, but unfortunately, so I had a, I got myself a lap harp and I wrote a whole load of music and I was going to do this and I, I was training for it. So I was out running every morning. I was doing loads of walks and I was like, I'm ready, I'm ready. I can do this. And then my granddad unfortunately passed away. So I, I never got the chance to do it. But in preparation for that, I did, I did go out and I did play the harp a lot. And I actually, I remember sitting on the beach just after he died writing a piece of music for his funeral because I felt like I because he was always outside I felt like I needed to be outside to write it so it feels you feel freer outside and you're not constrained by four walls you know as you know I'm not an inside person <laughs> I do. And I love the fact that we've kind of taken this up as a challenge to kind of um, find interesting places for you to go and play. Because, um, uh, I mean, the, the amazing thing is that you've been doing this live streaming now um, for, well, I mean, quite, you know, the last few months. Uh, and we've I think this is possibly our fifth time that we've been outside now with the Celtic Harp with you. Um, I feel like we keep finding interesting places, but actually the places that we've been to are literally only, I mean, what, 20, 30 minutes drive from where we are. Um, and the the breadth of places that we've been to is uh you know we're, we're widening that as we go and 
I mean, this is once again very different to say last week. Um, just tell me what it's like to 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 play in um, maybe near the sea, and what it's like to play in sort of the forest settings that you've played in. <laughs> <laughs> you have to face this way. Um, well, I have to admit, I prefer being out in the open. Um, I do like forests and things, but I do prefer being out by the open. And for some bizarre reason, I can only write music about the sea. I cannot write any music about anything other than water and the sea. And I, I don't understand why I do that. But what I find really exciting about here is that you can see, we can see that point over there on Brown Sea Island from our house, but we can never see over here. So that's pretty exciting. So tonight we got to go and explore and experience that. And <laughs> wow, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to everybody who's commented and liked. Um, there is one other thing that um, I, I need to ask you a little bit about um, because we have been doing really well actually on the face masks. Um, so thank you so much to everybody that bought a face mask in support of um, the project that we're doing here. And basically, every time you buy a face mask, it will help us to go and be more creative with our live streams. Hopefully, get more people involved as well. Maybe different artists. Different musicians but also different volunteers from our local area in Dorset and that's kind of where we'd love to take this because we're a small team at the moment but we'd love to get more people involved um, and to facilitate that uh, basically the money um, from the mask is going to go towards helping with that so Stephanie I think it's only right if uh, if we done the mask and once again show people I know Stephanie's been working really hard over the weekend on five new styles of mask um, uh, Sam our cameraman has already got one of the new styles it's pretty cool and we'll be re releasing those um, later in the week for you so keep an eye out on our um, Facebook for that. Uh, the last thing um, I wanted to ask you quickly about Stephanie before we do go is that next week we'll be live streaming from the ancient technology centre in Cranbourne that we're really excited um, to go and see because that is again a very different venue but um, somewhere that I've um, really enjoyed when I've been there in the past and Stephanie it's one of your favourite places in Dorset isn't it? Tell me a bit more about the ancient technology centre and what we can expect there next week. Um, basically, I want to actually move into the Viking Longhouse and just live in it because it's amazing. And I know that um, when they were building it, my mum and brother actually helped on the volunteer, one of the volunteer days to actually put some of that. So that's really cool that some family have helped do that. And we've been going to storytelling. I think you went to storytelling there. Um, one of my good friends got married there, which was really exciting. She got, And I got to play the harp for her wedding, which was Oh, it was magical. We had like a little festival. It's it's incredible. It's if you haven't been, you need to go and check it out because they do things like I think a lot of school children go there on their like their school trips. They do like Roman bread making or, you know, the um the wattle and daub where you've got like the horse muck with the straw and you shove it in the uh, walls to make <laughs> to make uh, a house. So it's really exciting. I love it. Oh. Well, we're, we're really excited and can't wait to see um, uh, what your what the harp will sound like in a different location there again next week. Um, so, yeah, fantastic. Look forward to it. Just another couple more comments, actually, I will share with you. Um, we've got um, Anne Balaam says, how beautiful music scenery. And, of course, Stephanie. <laughs> she does say, bless her, that is windy. <laughs> but it's great because um, Anne's been commenting as we've got that down. Um, we've got, uh, Anne says, sun nearly gone. And then, thank you. Now go and get warm. Beautiful. Yes, it was amazing. So, Anne, lovely. And I'm so glad that you could watch on the live really enjoy this moment with us tonight <laughs> it's not actually that cold it's just it's i mean like it's not as cold as camford heath and last week but it's just really really windy but it's quite oh it's a weirdly warm wind <laughs> <laughs> I think it's as warm as Britain's ever going to get. But <laughs> so, well, <laughs> thank you to everybody who's commented and enjoyed, uh, joined in and enjoyed the moment with us tonight. Stephanie, thank you so much again. Uh, thank you for all you're doing with the mask as well. Really appreciate it on, on the feed. So thank you. Go and get warm. Um, but... Um, like I said, if you do like what we're doing and you do enjoy the feeds that we're doing, the live streaming, um, whether that's the Celtic music, where it's the electronic techno house that I've been doing, um, do make sure that you like and follow and share this around because um, basically we rely on you guys uh, spreading the word and telling people about what we're up to. Uh, and it would be amazing if you could spread that around and uh, just share a post, send it to a friend that you think might enjoy it. Uh, just take a moment out of your day to send it to someone else. Would be, we, we would so, so appreciate that. So if you could do that, it would be really, really helpful. Uh, make sure if 
uh, you're watching this for the first time, though, do like us on Facebook. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on YouTube. Uh, we're on Twitter, all at One City, One Light. If you'd like to buy a face mask or you'd like to find out a little bit more about the project, you can head over to our website, which is ocol.tv. That's ocol or onecityonelight.tv. Um, so head over there. And if you really feel like it, subscribe to our mailing list because that'd be fantastic. And we can let you know basically what we're up to. Uh, because tonight was pretty spontaneous. We only decided quite late to come here. Who knows? We'll probably keep doing that because basically it's fun and you've got to take advantage of the elements and the uh, the weather to get out and do stuff. So really, uh, yeah, um, stay in touch because it'll be short notice and uh, we'll let you know where we're going to be and it'll be a surprise and you'll never know where we're going to go next. But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you so much. Make sure you hit us on uh, social media. And don't forget, if you don't know what Twitch is, go and check us out on Twitch as well because that'd be great. Have a really good evening and we'll see you again next week.